All right, guys. So before we go to Yesha there, I just got out of the portal again. Back at the labyrinth there. I cleared all the enemies because I forgot to show this in the last episode. There's one item that we have to grab. You just go through this little tunnel here. Jump down. You'll kill a little bit of enemies, but that's about it. Not, they're not hard enemies. They're just the little babies and the other guys. The cube guys. The adult ones. All right. Energized neck coil. This is amulet. Increased status effect damage by 25%. Uh, snap that guy really quick. Try to sneak up on me while I'm trying to read that. I don't think so, buddy. Increases status effect damage by 25%. Applying a damage status effect creates a 5 meter explosion for 20% status effect full damage. Pretty useful for. Well, status effects like this. The fighter attack here. Oh, another guy. So it'll be useful for status effects like that, like fire, shock, you know? That kind of status effects. Acid would be one. Anything that does status damage. Now we're just going back to Yesha here, so we can start the actual part of the walkthrough episode that this walkthrough episode is based on. So I'm just going to rest up at this checkpoint really quick, just to recover everything. Now we started at the Red Throne here, so hopefully, you know, there's some areas that I really want to get, and I'm really hoping that I can get them in this by starting at the Red Throne, but we'll see what kind of layout we have since it's all RNG based, unfortunately. That's the only thing about this game, all RNG based. Okay, armor guys. I'm not a fan of the Red Throne because of his armor guys. Take a lot of hits to kill. But we can stagger him if we keep shooting. Oh! He delayed that. Okay, okay. Now I know he, he can delay. When he jumps, he delays a little bit, so don't dodge too fast. Alright? Don't make the same mistake I did. If you see me make a mistake, like if you see me get hit, then I made a mistake, so... Don't do what I did if I get hit. Watch their animations closely. Let me see if I can lure this guy up. I shouldn't. I saw him behind a wall at the last second with my skill. There we go. So I'll, I'll show you right now. He, if he jumps, yeah, time it like that, okay? That's the proper way to do it. Just be patient. Don't, don't panic. Never panic in these type of games. Always be patient. If you panic, you will fuck up. See what I mean? I'm not panicking, I'm just being very casual. Very casual. These guys are very easy to dodge. I'm just messing up a little bit because I'm talking, but if I wasn't talking, I'd easily be able to just dodge that guy. So yeah, let's move on now. Now that you guys know to, to never panic and just be chill. Just be chill, watch the animations and dodge accordingly. Alright, let's grab this chest here. Dodge as needed. I think that's all this is here. Yeah, we can move on. That's, we just got the chest there. It's good to get the chest. They give you a bunch of stuff. Materials, scrap, items, all kinds of good, all kinds of goodies. So I don't mind just going there just for the chest. Should be more armor guys somewhere. 
I believe. Let me use my thing here. One there. Just one? That's all I see. Can I stagger him? Can I stagger you? Stagger? Sta there you go. It's gonna push back while attacking this guy. Oh! He tricked me there, I think. That was like a super delay. Just watch out for their follow-up attacks. If you dodge, if you dodge once, you may have to get ready to, do to dodge again immediately. If they do a follow-up attack, all right. Always watch for follow-up attacks. I'm gonna see how much shock does with my enigma. It probably won't do much. Especially at level 1, and especially with the nerf that they did to it. Ignima, I don't think the Ignima gets strong until later on. When you buff it up. But it used to be very, very powerful. Like for AoE clearing enemies, for mobs. It used to be so overpowered for that. It was quite insane at one point. Here's a chest. I think we're good, guys. Let's move on from this place. I'll go up here. Okay, I think we want to get captured by this person and get a new weapon. Can we get in here right now? Let me see. I can't remember if we can open this door. I think we should be able to. No? Yeah, it opens. You just gotta... There we go. From the crap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna skip all this text here. I'm listening. That's not the duo I'm asking for. I won't kill for you. You want that fighting icon. You want to select a fighting icon? Because we want to get captured. So just die here. Man, you guys are weak. What the fuck is that? Come on. Four versus one, you can't even lay me out. Instantly. There, we got captured. This is exactly what we want. Jeez, come on. Thank you. Look who I see. You guys aren't very sneaky at all. <laughs> I'm getting there with my uh, Enigma. <laughs> I gotta make a key change, by the way. Do that after. If you link them up, it does more damage with the special there. See, this is why I tell you guys never panic. It's very easy to dodge if you don't panic. Dodge the follow-up attack there. That's what I was trying to tell you guys last time. See how easy it is, dodge? Remain chill. Uh-huh, okay. Sounds good, buddy.
Alright, let's continue up these stairs. Can't remember if there's any more enemies. If there is, I'll probably just use my... My little wall hack skill there. Whatever it's fucking called. But I think we're okay for now. Pretty sure there's supposed to be like one more enemy at least. No? What did we get here? New relic fragment? Okay. Here's the item. Royal Broadsword. That's what you get. We can put that on. I think it has more stagger power. Stagger modifier 11%. What was the X at? 1%? Yeah. <laughs> this has more stagger. Okay. This is the way that's blocked off, yeah. Shortcut! I'm back! I'm back, buddy. And I'm coming right back for you. Let's grab this chest. There should be a visible wall. Let's go pay our friend a little visit, shall we? Oh, is it locked? Fuck off. Okay, I guess we're not paying our friend a visit. He locked the doors. He's a piece of shit. Let me check out this map for a sec really quick. And we're good. There's nothing else here anyway, so... Not like it matters. Let's rest at this crystal here. Alright, we can begin. Exploring Geisha. Where is this? The Withering Weld? Or Weald? I don't know, something like that. We're gonna export all of this for one episode. So, any side areas, I'll be skipping and doing them in a different episode. We're just gonna focus on the withering weld, or whatever it's called. But at least we got a new weapon out of this so far. The broadsword. Grab this chest here. I hear something. They can't handle my sniper. They can't handle the power of the sniper. No item up there. Turn around. You guys see the weak point though, right? Where I'm aiming there, their fucking nose. That's the weak point is their nose. Their, their face, nose, whatever. Right there. They shoot at their face, basically. And you do a lot of damage. Oh, hi Lo! I remember you from Remnant from the Ashes and you're not a very nice guy. But, I'm just gonna stagger you. That's all. The Shroud? Is that what he was called? And ran it from the ashes? I think they were called Shroud. Whoa, what is this thing? I can't see. Oh. 
I got a, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let me get skip back here a little bit. There we go. Those things attack you, by the way. These fucking evil shitheads. They look innocent, but they're not. Don't be fooled by them. Oh fuck, I hate this attack. Holy... Dude, this guy is spamming the entire battlefield here, man. What an asshole. Fucking spammer. Oh, boss man's coming, he leaped. Can he even get around here? Yeah, he can go through here, I think. Oh my god! I, I think you gotta break his little centerpiece here, and then you can shoot his weak point. Let me take out the enemy first. There we go. Oh, got him, I think. Yeah, I got him now. There we go. Just shoot his centerpiece here. And now his weak point is exposed. There, he dead. Oh my god, what the fuck? You asshole. But yeah, I just let that guy come to you because you don't want to go towards him and then have a bunch of ads on you, minions. So, it's the best way to deal with that. I'm gonna go near this checkpoint, but I'm not gonna touch it. Just so we can spawn here. Okay, we have all this. Let's go up here first. We have a checkpoint here, so we don't have to worry too much. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I can climb up here. Okay, perfect. Climb again. Grab all this. Nobody's coming. Don't lie to me. Oh, there's a purple item. I'm gonna grab that. This watch out is flying enemies too. I don't know if they're in this area or a different part of the Yesha. Stalker's Ban Amulets. Gain 10% of range and 50% melee damage bonus double versus enemies not targeting where... Yeah, well, I'm solo so that's not gonna happen. What was that? Oh, you again, you fucking asshole. Get out of here, dude. Just shoot him in the head. It's the best way to deal with this asshole. He's, you stagger him really easy. There, he's dead.
I guess we'll cut through here. Explore this side. Got an item here we can grab. Forged iron. Got more of it on the window sills. Or the ledge, I should say. This is a pretty big area. Should be a lot more stuff. <coughs> uh, whatever. We can go this way. So we're not done yet. Oh, is that on top of the bridge or below? It might be on top of the bridge, but I think we can go around like this. There we go. Iron. Two iron. Alright, so we got this area up here now. Almost done. It looks like we filled out the parts that didn't really have a side area, so that's good. That means we got this part over with. Now we can just head back to the crystal by Death Skull in, and then we can just. And then we can just explore this area up here. Or actually, what is this? I don't think we explored that. If I death skull, it's gonna respawn all the enemies. Might be faster if we just run and see what that is, because all the enemies are dead down here, so. Instead of having to re-kill everything again, might as well just run it. I think it'll be better overall, but I think this is the area up here. Yeah, it looks like it. Is this the bird? Yeah, it is the bird. Okay. I don't think we can get here yet. Come back for this after. I'll come back here after. Right. Now we just go up here. Start by grabbing this. Forged iron. Should be two paths, I think? Oh fuck, okay. This splits. Probably there's probably gonna be a side area here and a side area up here. Let's go right side first, I guess. Shroud? Yeah, it is Shroud. He dead.
Oh yeah, I have to make a mouse change option. Or a keybind change option, I mean. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna make it now. Okay. Much better. Alright, this is not even fixed yet, what the fuck? Oh! Shit, I gotta fix- hold on. It didn't even fix- it didn't even switch my option. Okay. I'm ready now. Mod power should be F. There we go. Interact as mouse. Four. I mean thumb four. Much better. Cause I feel like I have to inter- I need an easier key to interact with. Since uh, using the mod ability, you only need to press one button once. Every once in a while. You don't really have to tap it more than once, right? So it'd be better to make my interact option an easier key to press. Right on my mouse. Alright, once you guys made it back to this crystal, we're gonna head to this last area here. We have one side area here that we can go to after. It's not explored yet. In the head, in the head, boom! Stagger! Oh, I forgot I changed the keybind for that. Item. What is this? Forged iron. Nice. There's a trait on the other side there. Let's put more health in. There we go. And we'll go down here because we haven't explored the bottom part. I don't think. Or wait. I guess we did. So if we cut through here, there's only this other part of the red area here. But I see what we haven't done is we haven't crossed over here to grab this item here. And there's a chest in here, I think. Yeah, there is. There we go. Now we can proceed to explore this unexplored part of the area. Oh my god, it's not moving.
Let's grab this. What is that? Still hear another enemy somewhere. They're climbing on the trees. Finding lots of materials. Forged iron is really good to find right now. The higher quality items are based on how far you, your power level is in the worlds that you go to. So. In Yesha, we'll be finding a lot of forged iron. The next world will likely be finding a lot of galvanized iron. I think we're good. This world is definitely a lot more relaxing than the fucking Nerud world we had at first, right? That was a horrible world to uh, get on your first roll for Apocalypse. We should have saved that world for last, to be honest. It's a really tough world for a new game character reroll on the hardest difficulty in the game. I just want to fill up that red spot up there. Cause I might have missed something maybe inside here. Oh no. Elite? Oh my. Whoa, he one tapped me, dude. Holy shit. I did not expect that. I did not expect him to one tap me. Alright, so I'm getting close to where I died here. So I'm just gonna restart it now. The walkthrough from this point. Instead of showing the run back. Here we are. This is where we died. Uh, let's see if that elite spawns again. Doesn't look like it's spawning. Great. Now I'm hearing music. <sighs> oh, Batsultek. We must speak again. Friend Batsultek. I'm just gonna spam all this stuff. The forest, it is some that they got yet not. I feel great. Yet, listen to me. Okay, I don't have any more questions. There we go. I spammed all his dialogue. That should be the whole entire map now. Eh, it's pretty much the entire map there. So there's two paths that we haven't gone to one here, which is the lament, and the one here. So let's go through here first. It's a big crystal. 
I'm just gonna leave all this stuff here for now. Which one area is this? This is... Oh, Kayula's Rest? Okay. So we have the Lament teleport. We have Kayula's Rest. So we'll do this first since we're here, and then we'll teleport and do the Lament in the next episode after that one. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and thanks for watching.